Hello and welcome to Parental Roll. I'm doing the intro today for some reason. Okay, um, uh, we are doing this because we want to be able to sit around the table instead of online because COVID. Uh, yeah. Um, and last time we fought some things, <laughs> um, and we're going and following a trail that we are we assume is going to lead to uh, Luna's dad, because um, we saw a trail that had hints of leading to Luna's mom, and we found her brother. So we're assuming this trail leads to her dad. Um, I'm playing Gadget, who is an artificer gnome. Uh... He is the DM. That's my dad. His name is Phil. I'm Rebecca. Um, this Mana right here. Uh, she's playing Luna Night Shadow, the person we're looking for the parents of. She's a, a elf druid, half elf druid, a half elf druid. Um, that over there is Sarah. <laughs> she's playing. <laughs> she's playing. Um. She's playing an Arakoa monk named Ara Or. Ara Or. And ma and mom just left. That over there is Lewis. Uh, he's our bard. He is playing. Uh, he he is the wings. He's As a asimar. That's wings. it. He is an asimar. They both have wings, wings, but his only come out for like a minute or so. Um. Yeah, he's a bard, and then. Mom over there is playing a, a, a rogue fighter thing, pirate, pirate, that's an elf named Mist, I think. Is it? Yeah, I was right. Yay! Okay, Dad's gonna say whatever I missed. D&D. <laughs> what did she miss? Nothing. Not really. um, the only thing she really missed is, uh, last time the party um, found a swamp, and continued following the path into the swamp, fought some zombies, and when they finished the fight, in the distance, they saw a castle! castle. And, and she forgot that it, that, it, that we're playing D&D. &D. Uh, oh yeah, we're playing 5e. Alright, so look guys, there's a castle! There's a... That's a really big castle. Is it a big castle? It's pretty big. No, not especially, really big, but like big, big. Especially considering you found no signs of human habitation anywhere. What about the tower? Other no, than no. the tower, yeah. You found the tower, um, and a bunch of dinosaurs. And then we find that one, that one place which had a moat around it that we had to like plot, like hang. That's like, the tower. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So we we've learned. I probably already asked this question, but I've forgotten by now. We do we know that like dinosaurs died ages ago, or is in this world they just live? Uh, where you come from, there are no dinosaurs. And did we find like their skeletons? Yeah. So these things are supposed to be dead, and they must have either survived somehow, or there's a necromancer around here, or a cleric. But like, why would a cleric bring back to life dinosaurs? Well, it might be me. Yeah. That's a pretty good guess. All right. So in the distance, you see a castle. As you, as the party heads towards the castle, you see that it has suffered some pretty serious damage. The castle, as you come closer, is sitting at an angle. One side of it looks like it is sinking into the swamp. I don't think that's a very good idea. You may, you may have wanted to like flatten out the land you were using, or like not built in a swamp. Yeah, or like not built in a swamp. Mm -hmm. Um. As you look around, the there are some very large front doors. On the bottom of the front doors, there's a little bit of water in them. Uh, it looks like those doors open inward. So I can fly kick them open? <laughs> Is that what you're going to do? Guys, can I fly kick the doors open? Don't do it yourself. I'm going to see if I can just push the door open. If that doesn't work, I'll let her fly kick it. Okay. You put a hand on the door and you push, and it doesn't move at all. I'm gonna try and I give her a thumbs up. Go ahead. Oh, I'm gonna try opening by the doorknob. Okay. There's no, there, there's really a doorknob on it, but you you find a, a large brass ring that would probably be used for something. And you grab the brass ring and you push and pull and nothing happens. I, I think that's a doorknocker. All right. I give you a thumbs up. 
I'm going to fly into the sky and just... As you leap towards the door, you notice Jake is going bang, bang, bang with the big brass ring. And you hit the door. It goes in its frame and you fall down. It doesn't open? It doesn't open. What? Is it magic? Ooh. Wait, don't I have to do detect magic? Yeah. Why don't I have to detect magic? I don't know. I, don't know. I need to detect magic on my goggles, but I'm not sure what the spell I can get. If you can get the tech magic on your goggles, that would be amazing. You can just like flick a button and you can see. <laughs> I missed the tech magic. I like how every warlock has tech magic. That was neat. Yeah. Lewis, do you have like the knock spell? What level is the knock spell? Level two. Two, three. Two? Well, yeah. it's knock. It's knock like it opens knock. doors. Knock yeah, is knock it. Knock unlocks um, and opens yeah. doors. And it, uh, it gets rid of magical locks. Yeah. Right? Do you have to detect magic or do you not? I don't I've identified instead. Uh, looking around, you can see that oh, the uh, the right side of the you have detect magic. Yes. Okay, are you casting it? Yeah. Is dark magic ritual? Uh, it can be. It can take ten. Minutes. Right, so do that. You do ritual while Dad continues explaining Question. what he was explaining. Yeah. Does it cost the mana? Does it cost a spell slot if I do ritual? No, no. Ritual, just ten minutes. Point of ritual because okay. it doesn't take a spell slot. But it takes just a takes long time. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. So you get set up for your ritual. And you we'll look around really does that. Grab out your, your loot. And start playing a little song. <laughs> building up some magical energy. Uh, the rest of you, as you're looking, it looks like the right side of the castle is... Um, looks like a normal castle. There's a tower and um, it looks mostly intact. The left side of the castle looks like parts of it have slid and crumbled off, but you think you may be able to climb up the left side if you want. We did climb up the left side of the castle. Is there any windows that look like they're open? Uh, maybe. There's There may be some way to enter if you climb up the left side. Okay. okay I, can I just realized up. how similar this was to my tower. <laughs> yep. I can That's all right. fly up to the other like, side and see if there's a way in and while he does his 10 minute ritual. I might just be making this connection myself. But also the tower thingy from from the from our first campaign. Kind of. Because I've Oh, where the dragon lamps? Mm -hmm. Where the dragon lamps? Yeah. Oh, yeah! Stephanie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember if we told them about Stephanie. I, oh, yeah. I think we did and some we, like yeah. short videos. Or not short, but we did some tester videos and stuff. Yeah. We yeah. were we like Stephanie sent on some missing to Not Stephanie. Stephanie. Yeah. Stephanie. Stephanie. <laughs> so Alright, that's what you did. What uh, happens with the detect magic? So after about ten minutes of um, detect magic, you um, you finish your ritual and you detect um, Weak magic coming from the other side of the door. Well, we need to get through this door. Is there a lock? There's no lock on the door. Does anyone have a knife? Looks like, like the doors open inwards. Would I have a tool to saw? Probably. Alright, I want to try and cut through the door. <laughs> I don't know how long that takes. These doors? He's, she's been working on that the same ten minutes he's been yeah. working on it. She's got like this much <laughs> cut into it. <laughs> Um, These doors are designed to withstand sieges. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna take you a long time. I can you, fly up the left side of the castle. And slightly less time than it would take if people were shooting arrows and dropping boiling oil on your head, because there doesn't seem to be anybody home. Okay. Which is a good thing, because we've banged on this door a bunch now, and no one's come to answer in the last ten minutes. So, I can yeah, climb let's, up the left side of the castle. Or I can climb up, or we can all climb up. Okay. Did I did I remake fire. my prototype I don't drive fire. using a little bit of fire? Can I set the door on fire? fire. Uh, yeah, but your sister has fire. Doors like this usually have Is pieces of metal that they're attached to Becca. to resist them being burned down. Oh um, yes, but like if I really tried, <laughs> if I roll a natural twenty, could I burn the door down? You, you, can, you can try. I want to. Can I, I'm gonna you have can to party burn. the door. Can I try and burn the door down? You're likely to singe the door. Not actually. And if it's abandoned, maybe we can make some profit on this back home in the uh, town. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Sorry for cutting it then. <laughs> Let's yeah. try. The other thing either... to remember is part of the door is in the water. Oh, it is? Oh, yeah. right, it's a yeah. swamp. 
Yep. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Wait, can I, wait, 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 wait. Is the bottom part really soft because of those water? No. Wait, what? Can I swim under the door? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, you, you stick your head in the swampy water? Uh, but uh, I put on like... my goggles first. Okay. <laughs> To protect my eyes. And it looks like it looks like when the castle shifted, mm -hmm. the door stayed flush. So it doesn't look like you can get under the door. Oh. But like the dirt underneath the door, is it It's stone. Oh. Because they built the castle on a stone foundation. On oh, I guess like the so floor will be so if I try to go underneath it just be a stone floor. Yeah. yeah. Mostly oh. mostly to keep out Bugs Bunny, right? <laughs> Alright. Okay, so do you want me to fly up and see if they will you guys take a take a quick See what you can see. Wait, go but please try to see if there's anyone inside and if there's not, can you open the door from the inside? Alright, so Well you, you guys could climb up the side too. And I can Yeah, let's try and up. climb up the side, because that's what you want us to do. Here, don't why don't I hand you one of my um what's it called? Immovable rods. Then you could tie a rope and it'll be easier for us to climb up the Okay, yep. I bring a rope with me. Okay. <laughs> fly up. <laughs> All right. Fly. So as you fly up, you see the courtyard of this castle, and um, you're not supposed to go there first, but that's okay. Uh, brackish water fills the courtyard. You can tell that um, it's much deeper on one side than the other, and there are in the deep side. There's a door that leads into the tower that's kind of crumbling. Mm -hmm. And on the shallow side, there's a door that leads into the other tower. And then the center of the castle, where the keep would have been, um, something really violent happened, and that whole building is just collapsed in on itself. It's this pile of destroyed rubble. Does you see the door that we're standing outside of? Yes. As you, as you look down towards the door that you're standing outside of, um, against the door are two large statues with their hands out like this uh, braced against the door. Okay, well, I'm going to move a rod, tie it, like, really well. Okay. Do I roll for that, or no? Yeah, it's probably... Um, yeah, roll me just a general dexterity check. Lewis, whatever was in your backpack, you just stepped on. Uh, eight. Eight. <laughs> Um, you're a little suspicious of this knot. Eh. Hey guys, make sure that you... I'm a little suspicious that I didn't do a good job, so make sure that you are keeping your footing. Don't rely too heavily on the rope yes. is what she's saying. Yeah, yeah, don't rely too heavily on the rope. It's there if you need it, but it's it's not the best resource. It, it's like, you know in those parks where there's that one wall climbing thing where there's a chain, but you like never use the chain because it's just in the way? Yeah. Only use the yeah. chain if needed. Okay, so how are we getting up here? Acrobatics or athletics? I don't want to have to let it when I die. I'm going to do acrobatics. because We all have uh, good berries. We can feed you. That's a plus but one really, to the zero. The only times I will bet, I would have to not want to just fold my bed. Well, you'll, if you fall, you'll take damage, but you won't die. Wait, really? Yeah. If you're that worried, you guys can go one by one and I can fly beside you. Lewis, you take a d6 for every 10 feet you fall. Right. How and, tall is this? And Lewis. No, Lily. And Lewis, if you're that worried, it's you can you know, climb one by one and I can fly beside you. Yeah, we could do that. Do we yeah, if you want to fly one by one. Yeah. If it's if it's 46. What did she grab? If it's one of the 20, or games. Yeah. Dad, how, how tall is this natural? Uh, the walls themselves are about okay, so what 40 you feet high. Oh, no, if he, he's going to want all six in an east table. Where are we rolling? <laughs> Lily, leave it! You guys are trying to climb the wall? Yep. Yeah. 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 Oh, so yeah. you can roll can... athletics to climb, because that's a fairly athletic thing to do. Oh, just athletics? Okay. Oh, Not Sam acrobatics? Gonna, Not Sam acrobatics. Gonna, and, um, Sam got an unnatural play. If we want, we can do... One by one, and I can be flying next little person. Yes, yes. Then, then, then give me advantage. Yeah, so you, as you, I have said yeah. that I am flying next little person. Yeah, so advantage. you can help. Advantage, one by one. Advantage. If, if they're having trouble. No, I just started no, up on my own. Yeah. So what? No. Plus your acrobatics. My acrobatics. Oh, no, your athletics. My athletics here, my acrobatics at four. Oh, your athletics is a zero? So what'd you roll? 
12, you said, right? Yes. Oh, that's much better than month 6. I rolled a 14. A 14. Oh, no. All right, so Luna scrambles up the uh, up the rope to the top. No, she uses the foot braces, but has the rope there just in yeah. case. Because and it not. takes her almost no time to get up there. And she's and like standing on the, on the um, parapet. Okay, and, and then I help the next person. The next person to climb up is Gadget. Gadget climbs up, and by the time she gets to the top, she's sweating and tired, but okay. not a problem. She made it. Hey. Hey. What did she hey. roll? I was like, what did Four. she do? Oh, no. Okay, and then I help, Louis, and then I help Jacob. Yeah. Jake, you get to the top, and you're exhausted. You're like, oh, oh, that was a hard climb. And then I help. Water. Just, uh, I did not roll a second. I said I started without you. Oh. Yeah. So, Mist, you start climbing, and you're like, I got this. This is just like climbing and ships rigging. But generally, when you're climbing and rigging, you can swing from side to side. This is just one rope. And you're struggling to get up. You're... You, you make it up about 10 feet, and then you slide back down 5. And she is using the foot right, like, rocks. Yeah. Can I, once I'm done helping out all of these three, can I fly over to her? Yeah, you're going to fly over and, and, and help her. Yeah. So you can, can roll another there. athletics check. Can put there? Can you put there? 17. Yay! As, you, as you're struggling, you sort of pause and think back, and you're like, okay, I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. And you make it up with no problem. Okay. Um, Looking uh, down into the courtyard, you all see now what, what Era saw. Oh. There are two large statues with hands out against the door. You have a feeling this is why you're having trouble opening it. They're alive. Um, and for, for you, oh, there is... is that some magic he saw? There is some magic to these creatures. You're not sure Creatures. what's you, going to activate them. They, they look like they have been in place for a long time. Do you think I can talk to them? No. Um. Shoot! I don't think so. Oh. Should we just try and avoid them? I can them? go. I'm yeah, here. Let's do that. On the I'm wall? Gonna... Can we, like, continue along the wall to... So Somewhere. the walls will lead you to uh, either of the two towers that are part of the walls. Okay. So which which tower do you want to go to you first? The left or the right tower first, you guys. The left stuff was sinking. The left stuff had it, it was had, fine. Was, the was, right stuff was the the right stuff was solid. The left side was sort of crumbling. Okay. She's not eating it. It's a weird dog toy, but okay. Left or right? I'm gonna cast vicious mockery on this. No! 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 no, no, no. no. <laughs> so he starts insulting them, and we're like, no! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like slamming. He, he starts oh, going, right, right, right. hey, statue, and we go, no! 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 no, 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 no. I just finished right. saying, let's try and avoid them. I guess. Do you really want to attack them? I want to check if they'll come back to life because I don't want to. I don't want to even get close to them at all. Why are you insulting them? I'm How tall to the wake up from that? The, the statues are like 15 feet tall. Um, they look like they're made mostly out of clay. Clay golems! Clay golems! So, clay um, golems. we climbed up the left side. Let's go to the left tower. Can I use metagame knowledge to know a few of their abilities or no? Um, well, you can't use metagame knowledge, but your character might have read something about them. Okay. Wait, wait. A history check? Yeah, roll a history check. Mm -hmm. okay. Nope. I got a four plus you, my You know that these things of... are magical constructs? Nine. I rolled nine. Yeah. So you know these things are magical constructs usually made by powerful mages. Magical constructs usually made by... This is just reinforcing my necromancer theory. Yeah, or some sort of powerful thing that can bring dinosaurs so I know, back. So I know they play golems? Uh, you know that the, these are creatures that generally... Um, magical stone statues. Yeah. Magical, they're magical stone stone statues that are constructs that are usually made by powerful mages. I mean, magical stone statues are typically constructs. Yeah. All right. Let's sneak All right. this so way. Head around to the left tower. If you want to fight, we'll fight. That's fine. Just... 
we had decided earlier that we were going to be. Instead of the giant statues, it can crush us beneath their feet. All right. So you climb around the left side of the wall. The wall gets fairly treacherous in some places. Whatever collapsed the central... I have an idea. <laughs> Guys, we can tie ropes to each other. Well, then if one of us falls, we all fall. Then you're not strong enough to fly with all of us. We're, we're not a really strong team. We are not strong. And some of us aren't even dexterous. <laughs> There's some people who don't have a... My dexterity is plus one. Where's my dexterity? The only thing I'm really good at is, is intelligence and then constitution. I think we had this conversation last time. We did. So let's continue. Let's continue. <laughs> she's going to finish her rant. It's, it's... <laughs> Part of the tradition. Every episode, she's going to tell us, my character is only good at two things. <laughs> Alright, uh, so character. you come around and you see a door my in the character. side of the tower. <laughs> <laughs> They're both just, my I'm character is only good at two things. <laughs> my character has just good at everything you have, but then two, but what two things? Okay. Well, I think this is the wrong. Oh, you know, you no, just this over is there. Strange. Okay, why is. It's just, I thought this it had an 11 for charisma and I was confused. <laughs> okay. Okay. There's a door in front of us, guys. There's a door in front of you that seems door. to lead into the crumbling tower. Is it locked or trapped? Can I search just to find out if sure. it's locked or trapped? What am I doing? Investigation? Yeah. Three! Three! Does um, anything wrong with it? There's no traps, and it doesn't appear to be locked, but then you try to open it, and... <laughs> oh! Oh, it is locked. Okay, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Do you guys want me to try and pick it? <laughs> sure. I can try, too. I also have these tools. If you so you watch as Mist pulls a... Uh, little bobby pin out. A little chopstick out of her hair. <laughs> and sticks it into the lock, and begins working. It's a chopstick and not a bobby pin? Yep. Ten. This is not a. I think what is what am I adding? Is my dex plus five to the thieves tools plus, right? Do the thieves tools add plus five? The thieves tools add your proficiency box. Oh, okay. So then my numbers are right. But it is the dex plus my roll plus my proficiency box. Yeah, plus one for your. So twelve. Twelve. So you uh, you work at it for a little while. And you look over at the rest of the party, kind of embarrassed. And you keep working at it for I a little while. I can try. I can try. And about five minutes later, you hear a... And you have successfully unlocked the door. Just took an embarrassing amount of time. Good thing nothing was chasing you. Put the pin back in my hair. Oh, was... <laughs> that makes me feel like that, that was what's supposed to happen. <laughs> <laughs> We lost it behind us. <laughs> All right. No. So as you come into this room, you see that the uh, the left side of the room, uh, the the roof is sort of caved in a little bit, and you see little drifts of dust. And um, this room is full of crates and bags. Uh, it looks like that corner of the room has been letting in water for years. Most of the stuff in here looks like it has suffered as a result. Everyone grab a bag or crate. Let's check. Is there any higher shelves? Look at my magic in my my um. Investigation, investigation. Because you don't see anything magical. Natural twenty. Natural twenty. I'm gonna sixteen. Pop over to a random crate and look at it. Sure. Yeah. Investigation. What is it, Sam? Do you want to investigate too? No. Eight. There were there was some form of um, armor in this crate. There is a armor, but Something. it is completely ruined now. It's moth-eaten and rotten and gross. Okay. Okay. You find a flask of oil. Okay. Um, <laughs> arson. You find four more flasks of oil. Okay, so we have five flasks of oil. Sam got a ten on her investigation. Uh, Sam, you find a bunch of ruined and broken things. 
Oh, so we better reroll the better things. Oh, is there any like there. things I could use to make things, like make mm -hmm. spare parts? I want to make a sixty. Mm -hmm. You find um, some small pieces of metal that haven't completely rusted away. Okay. Is any of is it like from me and the armor that me and Sam have? Yeah. What do you what, what are you rolling for now? You said you stir another crate. Mm -hmm. Does she roll again, or do you... You she... search a bunch of crates. What did you roll the second time? Uh, she rolled... Twelve. I will search you another crate. You find a box that was full of clothes. How do you spell pieces? P-I-E-C-E-S. Well, that looks ugly. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you can watch? I will I'm going to... Why? Gonna, if I'm, you roll when I don't ask you to roll, then I don't count the roll. I'm gonna. Can I search one of the boxes? Uh, no. You guys have searched this room quite thoroughly now. All there right. is a staircase, sort of a spiral metal staircase, that leads upwards and downwards. Okay, where do we want to go, guys? Up Let's go up, uh, down. Do I don't, let me roll it. Upwards uh, is towards the top of here, the tower here, that guys. you might have climbed up to. Four. So one, two is even, down, and no, even is down, and odd is up. Uh, do we all oh. agree with doing this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so Sam agrees with it. Becky agrees I'm with just it. thinking that we're gonna have to go down to get out, or back to this floor to get out. I don't know if it's about water. Um, oh, yeah. We may want to just go up first, just yeah. because we have to. Okay, let's go up. Let's go up. We're gonna expect to go down and out, maybe. Okay. And maybe down this way. As you guys climb up, the the stairwell sort of shifts a little bit, I'm like, and you come to the next really floor. This floor is much more caved in than the previous one. Um, it looks like there were bunks here. This was where um, where soldiers would sleep when they were off shift. Oh, they didn't want to hide mud, money under the, under their covers. Yeah. Good question. Roll an investigation check. I'm checking. I'm checking. Um, what's oh, my this is a 15. Got six. 15 I, got four. I need this 15. money. 15. I need this money. Six. Yes, six. Eight plus one investigation. Yeah. I'm going to need a glass. No. Yeah. Let me want to do Eleven. Please okay. let me find some. I have enough money to buy a pet once we find a pet trader. <laughs> Lewis, no. All right. Bad. Rebecca, you find five gold hidden amongst the ancient soldier's belongings. What did I find? Sarah, you find five gold. Yes. Uh, Louis, you find ten silver. Yeah. Sam, you find five silver. Did Mom look for I did not find anything. Uh, Mist, you cut open a couple of mattresses, and surprisingly, no one's hidden anything inside the mattresses. That's a dog. Out of frame, there's a dog who's playing herself. Becca, do you want a big cup, medium cup, small cup? Uh, medium cup. Okay. I want to play that bubbles next time. You want to play dog? This is the wrong sheet anyways. Maybe. How much money do I have? 15 gold. How about... Did you make a long rest? I forgot. Can you put this there? No. You guys are... Wait. And then we took a Yeah, after you fought the ghouls, you took a rest, right? All right. Is and it a short rest or a long rest? Short. Short. Oh, and I'm still up. Six plus three. Oh, no. Keep it here for now. Okay. Six plus three. 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 The staircase that goes up and down looks like it ascends onto the roof if you guys go upwards. Okay, so. Do you want Era to go check that out? Yep, I can. Or should we all go check it? Okay. Is this, does the staircase seem solid? Uh, it shifted a little bit under your weight last time. A little, a little worrying. Okay, well, I'm going to be constantly ready to jump up into the air and fly okay. if it breaks. My character doesn't notice, because that's how bad their wisdom <laughs> is. Alright, so you guys are climbing up onto the roof? I think so. Okay, you climb up onto the roof, and you see um, what would, would have been a little bit of a challenging path to get up here, as the tower has sort of collapsed outwards. What are you... 
So a harder path to get okay. up into here? Um, and standing on either side of the staircase as you come out are two statues. No. Oh, it's like the ones that were holding the gate? Uh, no, these ones have like wings and beaked mouths and large clawed fingers. When you look straight at them, they don't appear to be magical. But every time you look away, just out of the corner of your eye, you see a faint glimmer. I stare at like, them. Um, yeah, I'm not... Are they like the angel them. things from Doctor Who? Uh, what, I hate these what things. Are those gargoyles? I just think these are gargoyles, you guys. Yeah, gargoyles? gargoyles? Okay, not the angel statue things? Not the I angel statue just, things. I hate just anything right. that, moves, that moves when you're not looking at them. Those are creepy. So as you guys are standing around, I'm just staring at both of them. Staring at them. Is there anything feeling. else up here? No, it's pretty wait, empty. Wait, wait, wait. Why don't we guys just let's experiment with this a bit? We all have to look away for a few seconds and we look back, to see if anything's changed. You look away, and you look I, back. I look and away for like a single you. second. Instead of where they were before? And then they start to move, you hear crackling oh. rock all over them. <sighs> And I'll need initiative, please. Uh, <laughs> initiative. No. This dice is not rolling well for me. This is my dice that rolls either under 10 or 20. Um, is it this dice or is it the other dice? 19! Anyway, okay. 12. Um, I rolled an 8. I'm going to. That's, that's a. I can put that's it in a 21? the 21? dice. 21? In the 21? Not rolling terribly, but that's just because I have typed stuff for the last week and rolling. I, I rolled a 20 number. 21? 21? Uh, did you roll 14, Era? Uh, I rolled 12. 12. Sam rolled a 9. 16. This box plus 1. Boy. What is on the top? Nine is this. 16 is this. 21. Dad, what's your phone? Wait, what do you have for your phone? I have a that's cool. I have a plus three. Do I still need one with the funny number? Uh, do it. Uh, Dad, what, what I don't think I need that. Yeah. You and I have very different definitions what? of the funny number. I, I don't know what the funny number is. I just like the song. Is there a song that's 21? No, that's no Lewis was just singing a song. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right, Jake. So, as these creatures start to move, you. No, um, this is my space. Get out of here, here, you stinking statues! And which one okay. do you cast it on? Because you can only cast it on one. Boom! No, you can only cast it on one. The closest one to me. Okay, and that's a wisdom save, right? Yes. Was rule the five that you gave me with this, Joe? No. Uh, twelve. Eight, nope, I hit. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Four from the max. Wait, does it leave? Because I think to get out of here. <laughs> you want to be eight. Um, you know, your D four with the damage doesn't scare it away. Three. How much damage did you do? Three. That's not a really bad Alright, and it will have disadvantage on its next attack. Alright. Um, Alright, so Jake yells out of the statue, You smell bad! No. Missed? Yeah, I'm thinking that. Yeah. How, we were standing around staring at them. Are we within? Yeah, you're within about so, 10 feet of something. Okay, so no one is within 5? Um, I think... Who was, who, was ex who was examining them? You said you were staring right yeah, at them. Yeah, gadgets I right next to them. I was constantly staring at them. That was not a good idea on my part. <laughs> <laughs> I was constantly staring okay. at them, but I'm absolutely terrified of these things. So Lily, like, quiet. Very far back. It's so then if scary. the gadget is within, then I will attack that one. Okay. Good thing I did that. Um, yeah, very good thing. Yeah. Oh, Dad, is this a yeah. 21. Uh, 21 hits. This is with your frost brand dagger, right? Mm. Or short sword. Roll damage. I'm going to go and get today's bag of chips. 17. 17 points of damage. So that would make it. Uh, 
And with my offhand, I rolled a nat 20. Nice. So you're attacking the one that um, wasn't yelled at. 10. Mom. Ten? Mm, Eleven. Eleven? Mm, yeah. Mom. Yes, dear. Because I like rolling that twenty. I do too. Um, so as you as you slash through with your frost short sword, the creature rears back and you see you've left this large gouge and left behind a bunch of, of ice damage. And then you smack the side of it with your other short sword, and it doesn't sink in anywhere near as far as you were expecting. Just chink. So they're like resistant it's not, to magical damage? It's not. No, it's the opposite. Yeah. Um, I don't get. Because that one's. Because my tattoos, resistant, it doesn't no, make no. my sword magical. It just no. gives. Okay. Yeah. Um, then, then I'll uh, yell out, you need to use magic items. The only magical thing I All have right. is I read some <laughs> <It's so cold. laughs> Your punches aren't magical yet? No, yeah. All of your spells are magical. Yeah, same. You have and magical. at some point, your beast attacks will be magical, but they're not right now. Lily! Hey! Get out of the garbage! Um, no. Do I have that cape? Yeah. Yep. All right. So the first one is going to attack Mist because Mist is absolutely eviscerated. It. Does a twenty-one hit? Yes. Remember, uh, when It bites you for four points of piercing damage. Okay. And then it claws you uh, for seven. Seven misses. Okay. And then the other one is going to. Uh, charge Jake because it didn't appreciate being called names and attack. First attack is a disadvantage. Uh, does an 18 hit? No, it has to be, I believe, I believe it does. Yes, it does. Okay. No, no, I'm, yes, it does. It does? Okay. A 15 wouldn't count. Okay. You take four points of damage as it bites you. <laughs> And does a nine hit? No. All right. No, don't erase that. That's weird. It's not max. I get clean power strength at six level. So three levels I get clean power You guys are only level three? Yeah. Oh, well. Is this going to be a tough fight? Oh. Relatively. Balanced them for you guys. So, I think. We'll see. Hopefully this doesn't kill you. Yeah. Era, your turn. Um, I I said before the battle that I was probably at the complete opposite side of the yeah. tower that, than these guys. Because I'm terrified of these things. Why are Why so are our spellcasters going to the front and our melees <laughs> going to the back? I don't have any magical melee weapons. You didn't know the magic didn't affect them that well. Well, she said. That's, so if I yeah. didn't know that, I would have ran for it. But my only attack. magical thing. is... Is radiant sunbolt. I only have like three attacks, and, and also these things are terrifying. Close range. You can't I'm even on, disadvantage. I'm right? on the one on you. Yeah. All right. So let's see your first radiant sunbolt attack. Yeah, I have to roll it. Yeah. Okay. Are you, are you attacking the one that Lewis yelled at, or the one that Mist is fighting? One that Lewis yelled at, and there's a eight. An eight does not hit. Yes. Yes. She has to wait till level six. Can you launch a second one with your bonus attack? Yep. Okay. A natural 20? Uh, yeah, natural 20 will hit. Unnatural. Unnatural. Oh, okay. Unnatural 20 hits also. Yeah, it's like damage. Michael. It is almost your turn. <laughs> it's actually your turn right now. Okay, so what spells shall I do? Okay, so you, you can cast your craft. Then I'm going to fairies. Fairies, 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 fairies,
Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave. It's Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave is first level, isn't it? Thunder Wave. At the bottom, what are the last two in the... Uh, Pass without a trace. And Beast Sense. And Beast Sense. Which, which is what she asked about. Okay. Do you want to cast Thunder Wave? Mm -hmm. And Lewis asked for... Each creature in a 15 foot view originating from you must make yeah. a constitution saving there. Is that everybody, everybody, including us? Uh, no, she's going to angle it so that it hits the two creatures. And it's a 15 foot cube from you. In front of you. Yeah. Or originating from you. Yeah. Originating from you. Yeah. So you can't so she's going to hit two of the creatures. And missed, and uh, get you. So okay, roll. So I've got to roll two con saves. I gotta make a constitution. Con save. Six. Uh, six fails. Sixteen. Sixteen will succeed. Yeah. Both of my monsters fail. Roll two d eight, please, Sam. No, that's not it. Yeah, two d eight. Eight one five four. That's Tom. Mm -hmm. She rolls two eggs. Oh, that's damage. Okay. Eight. Seven. I mean, Seven. no, eight, ten, nine. Ah, nine damage. Sucks. Okay. Um, no. So you take four damage. Everyone else takes the full nine. Okay. And Mist, you're pushed ten feet back along with the other two. Uh, off the edge? No, just towards the center of the deck. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. What about one of the... Wait, so they're farther back and now I'm right up close alone? No, no they're farther back. You're, you're out They're of ten feet away from you now. Oh, yeah. She pushed them away from you. Oh, cool. We're good, we're good. Yeah. But, uh, it's exactly um, what you wanted. Me in the center of the two of them. Okay. <laughs> Are you doing anything else on your turn, Luna? No. So Luna goes... <sighs> and the whole tower sort of shakes and quivers <laughs> a little bit. It's a little little worrying to be on a tower that's not super stable. Uh, and Gadget, your turn. I'm gonna fire bolt them with my gun. All right. So you pull out your gun. Do you have a stronger swirl. spells? Uh, not yet. Okay. I only have level one spells right now. Like she gets a bunch Wait. of other stuff that she yeah. can do. Yeah. Okay. Like, I can make no, potions. I want to see if I can, like, like, a splash potion of harmony, like, from Minecraft. Ugh, that'd be cool. Instant damage. Instant damage. <laughs> on anything it lands on. Alright. Or continuous damage, like poison. Poison would be cool. Okay, um, what, I'm rolling, I have yeah, this. So, let it be... Twenty-three? Okay. Twenty-three hits. Pass this to your brother. All right, roll a d10. Oh, none of the dice. Oh, no, that's d4. Okay, I have to make this. It rolled an eight again. That's pretty good. It's like coughed or something. Oh, that's one. <laughs> <laughs> These things are made mostly of stone. You have a feeling that the your your fire. Would catapult do extra damage then? Mm, unless it says so, probably not. Oh. All right. Uh, anything else you do to get with the bonus action or movement? Um. So, what do you think I'm um, to Dad, I already know what I'm going to pass. Yeah. Maybe that's good because it's almost your turn. Dad, what flavor of chicken? Like? I don't want any until I'm done. Okay. I don't have anything else I can do, I don't think. Alright. Lily, quiet. Jake, your turn. I'm going to cast Crown of Madness on the one closest to me. Okay. The one that, the one that was attacked. Alright, what does Crown of Madness do again? It, um, it lets me control the enemy. It, it, unless they, it, but they roll a, they roll like a death save on me first, and I just punch a wisdom save. Yeah. Crown Wisdom save. Charmed by you for the duration, the charm target must use this action before moving on each of its turns to make a melee attack against a creature other than itself that you mentally choose. So the other guy. Okay. Wisdom saving throw. Which one? The one that um, the one that you yelled the at? The less hurt one. The less hurt one? Okay. <laughs> smart. Smart. Uh, it fails. Yay! Okay, I'm going to make an attack. It's teammate. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, does it get to save at the end of each turn? Um, it gets to save at the beginning of each turn, I believe. It doesn't get to the world twice in each turn, I don't believe. That would be fair. At the end of each turn. Oh. So then, so then, but then it automatically fails this one because rolling twice in the turn wouldn't be fair. Mm. On subsequent turns, you must use an action to make yeah, change the control. Yeah. So yeah, well, you can't do anything else right now. Yeah. But that's okay. He's taken half, taken half of the enemy out of the fight. he uses his bonus action to inspire people stuff. Yep. I'm not doing that yet. No? Why? Okay. I actually took two very long rests. You need to take her back to the door. She likes those jugs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those good flavors are fun. Uh, well, Alright, did you inspire anybody? No. No? Okay. Sam, stop. What is the name that I doing? It's bothering me. It was, it, you put it on your mouth. It's a, well, it's a mask. It's supposed Ooh. to be on your mouth. The back sure. of this. Let's continue. Let's continue. continue. Uh, Miss turn. She just oh. left. I don't know where she went. She went to go take the dog to the door or something. I'm just going to go outside? Yeah. No, I told her to go outside. She didn't listen. It's your turn when you get back. Oh, okay. I'm going to attack oh. again, but someone else can go before me. Or I can just run. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm behind now. It's, it's the gargoyle's turn next. So okay, yeah, I'll attack them. Yes, question, Dad. Yeah. Is so, one of my teammates attack him or attack the guy who I have on the movie fight back? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> you might get a saving throw. So I am going to oh, attack yeah, the not one. Yet, not I can yet. tell. It says a, a crown. Yeah, yeah there's, there's, so there's a jagged crown. Uh, of thorns and vines. So I will attack the other one. Twisted crown of jagged iron appears on its head. Uh, 14? Uh, 14 does not hit. Okay. 15? 15 just barely hits. Ten damage. Alright, so you slash into the creature um, with your offhand, and you feel that it's dealing less damage than, yeah. than it would otherwise. Alright, uh, one of the gargoyles is going to attack the other gargoyle. Lewis. It has uh, two attacks. Okay, wait, wait. Roll a uh, d20. For me? Yeah. Oh, for the defense of this one? No, okay. it's it's attacking the other one. So you're oh. going to roll its attacks. D20. That is uh, 19. So that's whatever it's. Plus it 4. Is. So 23. 23. That hits. Roll a d6 plus 2, please. Wait, we're figuring out it's. it's 6. Stacked. 6. Right 6. Uh. Its attacks don't count as magical. <laughs> okay. That's two. All right, and now, so the, the one gargoyle with the crown with the jagged crown of metal floating around its head runs up to the other one and bites it, and then make another d20 attack, please. Okay. As it slashes out with its claws. It, it misses because it rolled eleven. Eleven plus four. No, no, eight, eight, oh, I want seven plus four. It's eleven. Uh, it doesn't connect with the claws. The other gargoyle looks like its feelings are hurt. Question: the, Is the other gargoyle also confused? No. The other gargoyle um, can see the crown of but metal. But it doesn't metal. know that spell probably. It may not, but it's going to continue attacking mist. Uh, does a 17 hit mist? Yes. Okay, mist is going to take three points of piercing damage as the creature bites you. Okay. And uh, how about a five? No. Okay, that's the gargoyle's turn. Could use a little help over here, guys. Arrow's turn. Okay, I'll say it takes a bonus action. Uh, to I'm going to. Run over because Ray, I can't do very much with just my radiant sunbolt. Sun bolt. And I'm going to walk pow, court step. Okay. Ten. A ten does not hit. 
Okay, well, you, you you hit, but you hit part of the creature and it doesn't do any damage. Okay. Unarmed strike. 18 plus 5. That'll hit. That's a 23. Okay. Uh, that's a 23. And you're attacking the one that's fighting mist? Mm -hmm. That doesn't have the ground? Okay. How much damage do you need? Max damage, 7. So as you, as you run up to this thing, you smack it with your staff and do no damage. And you come around the side and punch at a seam. And the seam sort of buckles a little bit, but you were expecting to do more damage than you did. Okay, and are you going to keep going? Spend a key point for another attack? Uh, no, that would be my last key point. Okay. Uh, well, you guys took a short rest, so you should have had all your key points back. I costed two green symbols. Oh, they each cost a key point. Okay. I believe so. Okay, uh, Luna, your turn. Okay, so you can do Thunder Wave or Thorn Whip. Okay, so let me read the Thorn Whip. Um, you create a long vine-like vine whip covered with thorns that lashes out at your fair command for the creature in range. Make a melee spell attack against the target. So roll a d20. And I'll tell you what to add to it. Fourteen. A fourteen doesn't hit. The vine grows up and lashes towards the creature and misses. Uh, anything else you're doing? Can you give me another glass of milk, please? No. Thank you. Gadget. I'm getting proud of oh, Okay, you back up a little bit. Gadget, your turn. I shall shoot them. Okay. Continue shooting with your gun. I want to get more attacks. I want to get more attacks. Um, level yeah. 17. Once you hit, I think it's level 5, your um, thing does 2d10 instead of just d10. A 17 hits. Roll damage. Yeah. Oh, so you can also get you. Um, you could, but like, I'm not really proficient with much else. Are you proficient in any sort of weapons? Firearms and simple weapons. I have a proficient in simple weapons. Mm -hmm. So should not she be proficient with quarter stuff? Mm -hmm. Am yeah. I? Yeah. 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 Quarter stuff is a simple weapon. Uh, you with your staff, Becca. Cool. Six damage? Yeah. Uh, you see the creature is barely holding itself together anymore. Jake! Yes? Die, creature! Your Die! Turn. What? The, 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 oh, oh right, you have to tell it to attack. Okay, missed. Your turn. Oh my goodness. Dad, I, I believe it's too warm. It's safe. On its turn. Oh, oh, on its turn. The end of its turn. So after attack, attacking and moving. Uh, well, I don't want it to move. I just want to um, attack its feet. Twelve. Uh, twelve. Doesn't. Um, I'm gonna use. Can I? If I use my bonus action to eat, do I have to eat good berries one at a time, or can I throw the handful in my mouth? One at a time. One at a time. One at a time. Yeah. Because they're a full meal. Yeah, but they only give me one hit point. Yeah. So I'm going to attack again. Okay. Uh, 15. 15 just barely hits. Roll damage. And you, you've got a, a monk with you, so you can roll your sneak. 13 damage. Unarmed strike. Unarmed offhand. So you swing with your ice weapon, and the gargoyle knows how much that hurts, and it dances out of the way. And as it's dancing out of the way, you come in from the other side with your non-magical short sword and drive it into the side of the gargoyle's head, which explodes. Oh, nice. <laughs> I was hoping the gargoyle would kill the other gargoyle. Uh, it is the gargoyle's turn. Um, so, it goes to the pile of rubble that is the other gargoyle and goes... <laughs> <laughs> I know what it's cost for the claws is. I know what the damage is. It does not say... What happens when it's the final creature? Oh, he's just got to continue using his... Yeah. But it, he needs to... If it gets hit, it breaks it. Does it? Oh! Could you... Wait, wait, wait. If there's something with, look outside. If there are an animal outside, we can send it to attack. <laughs> you look around. You look out the windows. 
Yeah, we're on the top, uh, aren't we? What's it called? Crown of Madness. Is it like a bird in the it distance? Can act normally on its turn if you choose no creature, or if none are within its reach. Oh, we can act normally. Okay. All right. So I think the spell is going to end on it because I gave you a. Um, one extra turn. One extra turn. We have one extra turn, guys. One extra turn. Because I hadn't read that part. Uh, Era. Well, pow, 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 pow. Doesn't act normally just mean that it's not going to attack. Like it just. If it was fighting you guys, acting normally would be returning and fighting you guys. Uh, See, I, would, to hit? I would read that as it would be passive. Well, I'm going to hit normally passive. The, the crown is a crown of madness, so it's like crazily lashing out at everything around it. Okay, well, but he's been telling it to attack. Yeah. So. He's, he's he using his turns. Well, no, if... Okay, the thing is, is he's using his turns to control it. Yeah. If he wasn't, then he could heal me. Right. Well, like, so, could we send it at a bird in the distance? Because <laughs> that'd be really funny. It does say within reach, but it's a flying creature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's nothing really within reach. It'd have to be within that movement. Could we how, say that after how, how like golems? Gargoyles golems, guys, the golems. golems aren't within reach, Why? and they're way down ooh, in the ooh, courtyard. Ooh, they're more ooh. than sixty feet away. Mm -hmm. I have this robot bird. Can I send the bird into the distance and have it fly after? The bird? <laughs> uh, no, just fight. Oh, okay. I, I'm rolling damage for my quarter staff. What did you roll to hit? I rolled a nineteen. Yeah, okay, that hit. Max damage or eleven. Eleven. We'll keep okay. that plan in mind okay. for, for future use. I, like, I like that plan. Now I'm going to oh, no, strike it. Seven. Seven does not hit. And now I'm going to use my last key point. Seven. Seven. Okay. Luna. Oh, or you could heal me. Or you could heal. No, I'm gonna. Okay. Okay, does she have a healing spell? She yeah, has she's a second healer. Berries. Oh, doesn't she have... She has three good berries on her. You can just shove a good berry in the row. Doesn't she, she have, have healing word? Or healing word? Pale country beast says, Pressed by a trace, send her way of berry by the secret animals. She recrafts her and left good berry. Okay, Alright, she crams a berry in your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. One HP. Never mind. Do, do attack. Yeah, do attack. <laughs> Lewis, you need to heal me. Well, a question, is it out of its hypnosis? Yes. Okay, then, okay, I will. Okay, so you're rolling a d20 to attack? Sarah, can you read Thorn Whip in case it hits? Uh, if I remember correctly from last turn, it is a d20 plus 5. So roll your d20. If the attacks hit, so yeah, spell attack against the target. That so when like you roll a d20, when did you roll your d20? She has roll there. Roll. Baby, baby. Got your one. Okay. Doesn't hit. Gadget. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, uh, technically, yeah. isn't there only one pew? So just, oh, technically, this is pews? the third pew of, of oh, the fight. True, so. true. How do I make it multiple pews? Um, I don't know. I'd have to custom that. Uh, 14. 14 total? Yep. Alright, so you fire and you just barely miss. Becca, it's very simple. You turn your... Um, the spell you learn is not radiant hey, blast. Like a radiant fire bolt? Right? Fire, fire bolt? bolt? You learn Eldritch Blast instead. Yeah. Yeah. How do I learn Eldritch Blast? All right, you gotta take levels in Warlock. Yeah. Alright, gadget's done. Jake. Jake, it's your turn. Cure Wounds! So you walk up to Mist and put a hand on her, cast Cure Wounds at what level? Level 1, because I don't okay. want to use another one. So D8 plus okay, 4 or four plus 5? Okay, I can take level 2 fight. Okay, I'll just blast. That's level 2. The cheat needs, like, 
Oh, okay. Three levels in Bard? I'll try. You cast two spells? Well, yeah, but I need multiple levels in Warlocks to get cast one. It's multiple well, it's last two. This is the best. That's true. So roll a d8 plus four. D8 plus four, okay. This is a d8. Seven plus four. Eleven health. Eleven hit points. Nice. Oh, we're doing the fort rest? No. no. He no? cast a healing spell. Oh, Miss, okay. your turn. I feel much better. All right. It's not I'm going to attack. Is anything within range of it? Monkets, right? Yeah. She well, just hit it, so. Do I get to attack? Yeah. How, how, which, what I don't know why I'm rolling what is um, the call thing where you get spells for? 21. College of War. Oh, the Bard Killer Teacher? Yeah. That sixth level of Bard you can get. I think you spells. get. Um, it's called Mystical Secrets. Oh, mystical. So go to Lore. No, no but I, I don't want. Oh, just There's yeah. a ma Magical Secrets at, level, at 14th level. Yeah, you. I or think I you could get just make a machine gun. I'm gonna make a machine. 21 yeah. damage. 21 damage. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's and that's with my good weapon. Yeah, yeah. with your magical weapon. And Bard called Future. So I'm thinking that's. And 10 damage on the other one. Yeah. 10 damage? Um, well, my at half or whatever. Right? What did you. Okay. 10, ten right. damage. It yeah. looks almost dead. It turns on you to attack. The bite and a claw. I'll just make a machine gun. Uh, yeah. 19. Yeah. And eight. Eight does not. Uh, seven points of piercing damage as it bites you. Thank you, Lewis. Air, uh, your turn. If it wasn't for that heal, I would be at one health rate. I'm going to whack it well. with my quarter staff. Fifteen. Fifteen just barely hits. Roll damage. I do not want to have to leave out the medicine. You can't do. I did. And. My Billy, now I, I, I think yeah, College of Lords, so yeah, I could eventually ask Lyndon to revive Yeah, we're doing an iron strike. How much damage? Then meaning, uh, then Nine. meaning there's a Nine? different thing that's going to happen. happen. It's just my right, magic first talking kills at the beginning of this. Oh, well, well, it's a... The two golems, <laughs> or the two gargoyles collapse into piles of rubble. Oh, boy. And, and uh, I'm tired of my long grass. That was 180 experience. Uh, did we level up? I don't think so. Oh. Coming close though. Um, maybe have uh, a maybe, long rest. Maybe three and a half? Yeah, I'm only at two. Maybe 19. have a long rest so that I can restore all my 15. spells. I didn't mm -hmm. take any down. There's a there's a I bunkhouse think. down a level where you oh, can. Oh, right. Are those yes. beds in yes. good condition? They're in terrible condition, but they might be better than just sleeping in your bedroll on the floor. Okay, yeah. Could we put our bedrolls yeah. on it? Yep. All right, cool. We'll do that. Okay, full heal. All right, back us. When you go, if you go warlock, you get two beams at fifth level. Yeah. Oh yes, but I want to be an artificer. I need an eraser. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so just I gonna have, make a machine okay. gun. I have, I, I have an idea. Okay. I mean, mom, it's not nice. Uh, can we have a nice eraser, please? Oh yeah. Well, I'll do you got it. That's why I like these walkers for us. You forgot to I got it. Are you on the right? Do not subscribe. Do not sponsored by. Oh yeah, we're not sponsored by anyone. Yeah, not anyone. Not no no chips sponsorships. No chip sponsorships. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna eat the good berries before we go to bed because they're only good for today, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, me too. Uh, I, I, I take any damage. damage. A single good berry. Yeah, you're at one. Sir, I'm back. Yeah. Pass this to Lewis. This okay, I didn't take any damage. Erasers that we have currently. Keep this. I, I use my eraser. Oh, okay. Um, um, how many berries was I given? I you were given one. one. You were given one. So I'll eat my singular good berry. Uh, right. I have two that didn't take any damage, so. So you guys eat all your good, good. berries? Yeah, I pass my good berries over to the people who need them. Who needs the good berries the most? And you have a long rest, and that's, that's an hour. Are you guys. Ready to be done, or do you want to keep going? Um, I, I think I'm ready to be done. Okay. Um, am I at max health? I'm at max health. I can end it. How many hit points do we get back? Say goodbye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.